when I heard my name get called, like, I feel like everything I had to sacrifice and everything I had to go through, like, I just let it out. Man, that was just a special moment for me. It was a viral moment from this year's NBA draft that lit up social media. People across the globe watching Marjan Bochamp's dream become a reality. Yeah, it's been my vision since, like, 11 years old when I really started, like, I want to be in the NBA, you know, and never thought it would be possible because I come from a small city, but I had big dreams. Now Marjan is one of only two current NBA players of Native American descent. It's a long way from his start in Yakima, Washington, a small city known for agriculture and wineries. Marjan's family struggled to find opportunities. Throughout my like high school years, uh, I had to move around a lot. Me and my dad weren't stable, and he was working a job where he didn't really get much hours. There was one point where we had to like stay in our car for a couple days. It was pretty tough for us because we didn't have much. Looking back at it, I feel like it taught me to really just be thankful seeing how my dad did everything he, he could to keep me in the right place and keep me in the right position to pursue my dreams. Despite a decade of hard work on and off the court, there were setbacks. The pandemic made it difficult for the high school graduate to get the attention of NBA scouts. That was probably like the lowest part of my life where I had to go back and to square one and to start over. I was starting to lose love for the game because I had no opportunities. I was experiencing a lot of like depression and anxiety and trauma. No like faith and no hope. Marjan's life turned around with one call to his grandmother. Uh, I reached out to her and she told me I, I'm here for a purpose. With the new foundation built on faith and the unwavering support of his family, he got back to work, playing in junior college in the NBA's minor league. And today, Marjan is a Milwaukee Buck. The staff saw something special within him. Marjan is super humble. I think he has a great joy and kind of zest for life. Comes in with a smile every single day. He's just got like this big caring heart. He, he still wants to give back and he wants to make sure that he kind of connects with the community here in Milwaukee and he's just a giver. As a young player at home in Yakima, he didn't see anyone in the league who looked like him. Not having someone to look up to, I didn't really have confidence in myself, you know, to, to really make it. Which is exactly why Marjan makes time to visit members of the First Nation Studies program, which serves local Milwaukee public schools with concentrations of students with Native American background. And I'm about to meet some new friends. I can especially like to, to hear that they're Native American like me. It's, it's, I can't wait. Yeah, so let's, let's go. <laughs> I appreciate that. Appreciate it, my man. He walked into the door and I, I felt happy. Just being very kind and humble. It's important for students to see someone that looks like them. Creating opportunities like this give children hope. It's possible for everyone you guys in the seat. So, yeah, just keep going. It makes me feel happy that uh, I get to inspire others. There was a lot of up and downs through my journey, but uh, Everything I've been through, I, I felt like it prepared me for this moment. Oh, isn't he awesome? Amazing. By the way, Marjan already has three NBA preseason games under his belt, and he's suiting up for two more this week. Wow, cheering him on isn't all awesome? the way. <laughs>